Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to build ISOs bigger than the normal size. So, if we go here, you can see your typical ISO is 1.35 gigabytes, but you can see I have a larger one. So, you're going to want your game. Uh, we have Battle for Bikini Bottom, and this is like the normal one. And you want to have Dat Texture Wizard here. So, we'll open this and you open up your disk with the game so you open up your ISO file and you want to click on system files and you're going to export the files to the desktop or wherever you want to put it and they'll all show up here and then we're done with that for now you'll want a folder named system files And you put all of these into here. And then you have all the files for the ISO you want to make. So this is Second Strike, which is a mod that's larger than the normal game. And you want to take System Files and put it in here. So now you have the System Files with all this stuff. And you have your, all your game files too. And then we'll reopen that texture wizard. And we're gonna go to our root. So we go to desktop. And then we go to the folder with all our files here, which is called files. And then you'll hit save. And it'll save it as an ISO, and it'll show up here. And because this is a larger file, it'll give you a warning saying that's bigger, which is fine. So then we can go over to Dolphin. What if we reopen this? It'll work again. But yeah, we can go in game. It's the mod, so we can go to downtown Bikini Bottom. And when we leave here, you get to the cutscene. And then this is an additional level, so normally this would crash if you use like GameCube Rebuilder, but now it loads a brand new level. And there you go.